about a week ago, our team of three decided to participate in our first ever game jam. Yeah. In this video, I'm going to explain the process we took in order to create this fabulous game. However, there was one slight problem. It turns out that there were no game games currently running that we could do in a day or two. To overcome this problem, we decided to use Ludum Dan's last prompt, which was unstable, and make a game in 24 hours so we could get back to work on Exodore as quick as possible. After one hour of planning, we had gone nowhere. Our best idea was a player collected atoms of some sort and rammed into another player dealing damage and propelling the enemy off into the distance. It turned out that we didn't like that idea that much, so in the end, we ditched the unstable prompt and went back to square one. This time, after brainstorming for a mere 20 minutes, we managed to come up with an idea that we actually liked. Essentially, it was a PvP game in which players would run around, collect towers, and place them in order to kill the enemy, hence the name Tower Graveyard. With the general idea patted down, we started brainstorming what we wanted in the game. We ended up going with four different towers and four different playable characters. We took lots of inspiration from the stereotypical towers that are found in many different tower defense games. We also came up with three other towers. The stun tower, which was inspired by crazy kittens, the healing tower, and the shield tower. However, Due to time restraints, we decided to ditch these towers and instead focus on making the game a good game. So the next step was coding the fundamentals of the game. This included player movement, tower spawning, tower placing, and tower shooting. We decided to have two separate scripts for the two different players. This highly changed the time it took to code the fundamentals of the game, as most of the script could be copied and pasted over to the other one. We also added a start menu to the game where players could select the classes they wish to play. This meant we now had a fully functioning game after only 4 hours of solid work. Up until now, all the code and sprites were pretty simple. The only part was that it took a long time to make all the tower sprites and animate them. And now we had finished the base game, and all we needed to do was add the different classes and polish the game. However, this was when motivation started to drop. One of our team members was called away on urgent business and we were already 16 hours in to the game jam in which we had spent most of it planning and sleep. During the next two hours, we finished the rest of the sprites needed and started playtesting the game. At this stage, we decided to change the color scheme so the colors of the towers would be the same and instead change the color of the tower base. This meant a lot less work in programming the color changes. Now, we were finally ready to implement the classes into the game. Each of the classes are designed to have different mechanics that add another level of strategy to the game. The demo man has extra health and does small amounts of damage to opposition towers when he gets close to them. The engineer is the opposite of the demo man. Instead of damaging opposition towers when he gets close to them, he heals friendly towers when he is near them. The skirmisher has extra speed, allowing him to get to those tower spawns quicker than the rest of them. And the architect gets a free tower every 20 seconds, allowing him to overwhelm the opposition with the number of towers he has. All these mechanics were pretty easy to code into the game and did not require much work. The sprites for the characters were also super simplistic and did not take much time. This meant all we had to do was put the different character sprites into the game. We then decided to spruce up the background a little bit by adding grass and this meant we now had a finished game. However, since we had a little bit more time, we added a scoreboard, it did some polishing. After all, the expo was a little bit too OP. If you are interested in playing Tile Graveyard, it is currently on new grounds. The link will be in the description below. After completing the game, we had fun playing Tower Graveyard and even had a mini tournament to see who was the best. Throughout the 24 hours, we worked very hard to complete the game. 
while our programming skills weren't challenged that much. It showed us that we have the dedication and willpower to do game jams, which was an encouraging sign. Remember, if you enjoyed the video or you want to see more content, please like and subscribe as it helps us out a lot.